the utilization of cardiac implantable electronic devices has significantly increased over the past two decades. And with increased life expectancy, we are more frequently offering these devices to more elderly patients and those with a higher comorbidity burden. My name is Dr. Mohamed Mohamed, and I'm an academic cardiology registrar from the United Kingdom. And I'm delighted to discuss today the findings from our latest study, which will be published in the January 2022 issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings, and is entitled The Impact of Charts and Comorbidity Index on De Novo Cardiac Implantable Electronic Device Procedural Outcomes in the United States. Whilst comorbidity burden is part of the routine assessment of patients undergoing this procedure, this is seldom done using objective scoring methods. As such, there is limited data about the prognostic impact of comorbidity burden on procedural outcomes of those undergoing cardiac implantable electronic device implantation. In this study, we retrospectively analysed all inpatient cardiac electronic device procedures in the United States between October 2015 and December 2018 from the United States National Inpatient Sample. This was stratified by comorbidity burden as measured objectively by the Charleston Comorbidity Index into four categories, namely no comorbidity burden and mild, moderate and severe comorbidity burdens. Amongst approximately 470,000 procedures that were performed during that period, more than 40% were performed on patients with a severe comorbidity burden. In our study, the main finding was that there was a positive correlation between comorbidity burden and the odds of in-hospital mortality and acute stroke, with the odds of mortality and stroke increasing by 23 and 45 percent, respectively, per additional unit charts and comorbidity index score. However, to our surprise, the odds of procedure-related complications, um, including thoracic and cardiac complications, as well as device-related complications, which include infections, were not increased with advancing comorbidity burden, irrespective of the type of device implanted. These findings have important implications for device operators as well as patients, as they emphasize the importance of um, co considering comorbidity burden amongst other factors, as comorbidity burden alone does not confer worse procedure-related outcomes. Unlike frailty, which was shown to be associated with increased thoracic and cardiac complications in our previous studies, as well as those from published by other established authors. Therefore, severe comorbidity burden alone should not be a deterrent for operators to consider device implantation if clinically indicated. Thank you for listening to this video, and um, I would be delighted if you would read the full text which will be published in the January 2022 issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.